time for day two, y'all. Hope you guys managed to get the Running Man down smoothly. Now that you have the Running Man in your moves catalog, I'm gonna teach you the T-step. And yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna start moving towards the left first. And first thing I want you to work on is your traveling, okay? So you're just gonna try and stand on your right leg and you're gonna try moving towards the left, moving your heels out first, then toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels toes, heel, toes, okay? Make sure to transfer your weight from the ball of your right foot to the heel of it so you can easily move your heel and toe and heel and toe. Here I really am exaggerating it to show you. Make sure to not stay flat on the ground otherwise you'll feel very stuck on the floor and you'll just tend to lose your balance, okay? So just practice that if you still don't feel comfortable with that. With the second leg, basically we're just gonna do some taps like this. And now if we combine both legs together, we're gonna start in this position, fit together, we're gonna lift our left leg up and we're gonna tap down. And as we're tapping down, we're gonna move our right heel out like so, okay? So the first two steps are lift tap okay on the counts it goes five six seven eight and one okay let's try that again five six seven eight and one okay once here we're gonna lift our left knee up again but this time we're gonna bring our right toes in like so so both together ha and again from here we're gonna tap down move the right heel out then toes in lift the left leg Tap down, heels out, toes in, heels out, toes in, heels out, toes in, heels out, okay? Let's try that again with the counts. Remember five, six, seven, eight, and one, okay? So five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, all right? So really make sure that you're doing the right motion with your right foot moving the heel out when you're tapping down, then bringing the toes in when lifting the left knee up, heels out, knees in, okay? All right, so here what you have to make sure of is to really keep your weight on your left leg. I don't wanna see your weight being transferred towards the left leg, towards the tapping leg, otherwise it's gonna be very difficult for you to go from here to here because you have to lift your weight again. So very first thing, if you need it, you can try and just lean a little bit towards the right, which is normally something that you have to avoid when doing the T-step. We really have to maintain a straight posture, but for beginners, I think it's just a great way to force yourself to stand on your right leg. And then once you feel comfortable, just try slowly to straighten your posture up and just do the motion without leaning on the side, okay? And second thing, what can help you maybe is maybe using the hips a little bit um, you're gonna try and just move your hips out as you're tapping down and then bring them in out in out in out in out in okay same thing when you'll feel more comfortable I don't want to see those hip twists happening much but again it's just a great way to start uh, and help you feel the movement a bit better so from here basically lean a little bit towards the right side if needed and you're gonna turn your hips out towards the right side and as you're lifting your left knee up just try to bring them in the other way like this okay and tap again move them out in out in out in out in out all right i hope it helps now let's just try to do that on accounts together five six seven eight and one two three four five six all right just a little precision, when you start your T-step, I told you to start in that position, to go then in that position. But if you want to be very precise and if you're watching my feet carefully, I tend to do something more like this to start with. So I'm moving my right heel out a little bit so that I can emphasize the pivoting like so. So if you want to be very exact with the pivoting, you have to bring your right knee out as you're starting your T-step getting on that perch so that we can then emphasize the pivoting while tapping down the first time and then ha, the rest remains the same, okay? Now we're gonna try to do the same the other side because it's very important to work both sides for this move. So just same thing here, lift your right uh, knee up, move your left 
heel out if you think of it otherwise you can just start like this if you're a beginner um, and then just tap move your heel out toes in heel out toes in ha 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 Ha. Really try to feel that the tapping here is linked to the heel and the pivoting here. You really have to think that your tapping here is provoking the heel motion, the heel pivoting here. Just try to link both moves together and it's gonna feel easier for you then. All right, so that is very the basic form of a T-step. And as I told you, it's a move full of resources because you can do plenty of stuff with that. You can vary the taps, the way you're tapping, and just do a lot of variation with that move. And so we're gonna learn a little variation and we're gonna vary the taps a little bit because if you saw the choreo, we did a slightly different T-step. And one, two, three, four. All right, so this one you'll see will require a little bit of coordination. So to make it easier for you to jump from the basic one to that little variation, we're gonna start with three normal taps. So one and two and three. And from here, we're gonna start doing the other tap. So I'm gonna start with a back tap, then back to a side tap and a front tap, okay? And as you can see, I'm also alternating the taps using my heel toe uh, toe heel sorry so just try that with me from here maybe just do the taps with me we're gonna do a back tap with the left toe like this ha just touch the ball of your left foot down then tap on the side with your left heel and then tap forward with your right toe okay and so we're just gonna try to do that a few times so one two three okay we're kind of drawing a little triangle going back side front okay and obviously it's a pattern so you can also just do toe 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 you are really free of choosing what type of taps you're doing or you can do um, toe heel heel just go for whatever you want but just draw a little triangle like so okay and I call it the pattern because this is one way of doing the t-step but you can just tap side front back or even cross open cross again it's really up to you but here for the purpose of the final choreo we're just gonna learn this one which is pretty much one of the most common one I've seen so let's just start with the three basic ones and then after those we are gonna try to add the little triangle so five six seven eight and one two three we go back side front okay let's try that again five six seven eight and one two three and back side front all right let's try the other side now five six seven eight and one two three then back side front again five six seven eight and one two three and back side front all right really make sure to keep the pivoting happening the whole time okay but i know it's hard because you have one foot doing one thing and the other one another thing so if it helps you maybe just work on the pivoting first and just try to optimize that movement before adding the taps and once you'll start feeling more comfortable we're just gonna try and do one two three directly okay so let's just try to remove the first three taps and jump right onto the back tap okay so five six seven eight and one two three okay the other side five six seven eight and one two three all right now that we have all of those t-step variation uh, we're gonna try and practice that on music so i'm gonna play the music and we're gonna do four taps each time i'm gonna count five six seven eight and one two three four and then i'm gonna say five six seven and eight we go the other way one two three four and five six seven eight and one two three four and back and forth okay so yeah we're done with the t-step tutorial as i told you this is really just an intro to the t-step this move has so much potential you have so much variation with it not only the tapping but also like the variation of the tapping you can do kicks and stuff and i have a tutorial for all the variation of the t-step well not all but a few variations that is available in the catalog so if you want to level up your t-step do not hesitate to go and check this video out but for now we're just going to stick to this basic 
and now let's jump onto the music part. Let's start with the first tempo which is quite slow so make sure to do the pivoting right. We're gonna start with 40 step this side, 40 step this side and then the variation. And five, six, seven and eight. Lift one and two and three and four. The other way, five, six, seven and eight and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven and eight and one, two, three, four. Last time, five, six, seven and eight and one, two, three, four. This is the variation. Six, seven and eight. We go back, side, front, the other way. Five, six, seven and eight and back, side, front. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four. All oh. right, same thing a bit faster. Let's start with basic T steps. Seven and eight. And one, two, three, four. The other way. Five, six, seven, and eight. Lift one, two, three, four. And five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six variation, seven and eight, and one, two, three, okay, five, six, seven, eight, go back, side, front, and five, six, seven, eight, and back, side, front, last time, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Variation. Seven, eight. Go back. Side. Front. Open. Five, six, seven, eight. Go back. Side. Front. And five, six, seven, eight. Back, side, front. Five, six, seven, eight. Back, side, front. Yay. Yeah. 